Welcome back. I'm Craig Ford, Mayor of Gasden. Uh, I have Kay Moore with us, who's uh, DGI Director. Is that your official title? That's my director title. Yes, okay. that's correct. Uh, but I see you riding on a bicycle on Friday nights, <laughs> first Friday. and You got to get around how you get around, yeah, right? That's right. Hey, I'm with you. Uh, but uh, I got to tell you, Kay's a personal friend of mine. I grew up with her in church, uh, and she asked me if I was going to say this, or John says this earlier. But Kay used to babysit me when I was younger, but she looks younger than me now, so <laughs> I'm not sure what she's drinking. Well, uh, I, I tell everybody before you can say that, that's Craig's right. going to tell you that that's I right. used to babysit for him, and, and that's the truth, and, and it was good. Kay comes from a wonderful bloodline. Her father, Jesse Moore, uh, we went to First Baptist Gasden together for years. Uh, he always sat in the balcony on the side, and Kay runs the cameras at the First Baptist. She has a wonderful sister, Ann, mm -hmm. and her mother is 100 years old. That's correct. And uh, she's wonderful, too. But well, our families were very close, and I think the, the world of the Moore family. Well, and, and your dad was my softball coach for That's right. Yeah, and I coached third base. That's you know, right. All that's I did was exactly the windmill right. and nobody and listened and to And your me. sister yep. was the best shortstop ever. Yeah, she was Tony a good was a great shortstop. She was good. Well, tell us a little bit about DGI. That's what we're trying to let the public know that don't already know. Okay. Uh, a little bit about what DGI stands for and what you do. Okay. Well, Downtown Gas Incorporated was formed actually back in 1972 as the Downtown Action Council. Wow, I didn't know that. And that's yeah. that was when the businessman could see the opening of the mall and what it was going to do to downtown Gadsden. Well, unfortunately, it did exactly what they were afraid of. Even though they tried to, to stop that, it it became a ghost town. But in 1993... The Gadsden uh, Mall pulled from downtown? Yes, wow. they did okay. pull from downtown. So in 1990, like 1992, 1993, Downtown Gadsden Incorporated was formed as a nonprofit organization. Again, a group of businessmen that could see what needed to be done mm -hmm. uh, to bring back our downtown is a viable downtown. Do you remember downtown. who those men were? Or? Um, I don't, but I've got a list of them. Yeah. Some of them I didn't know, but yeah. but uh, I do have that list of, okay. of when that LL, when that uh, uh, was formed, when the nonprofit was and formed. And you're in the old Runtz building, what I, I call the old Runtz building, yeah. which was renovated, which I think is very neat. I do too. Yeah. I yeah. think uh, I was just talking, and we, I think that pro building was probably saved because uh, the failure to launch yeah. was filmed there with my uh, with right. Matthew McConaughey. Of so the newspapers yeah, across the street. Exactly. Yeah. So I think that was how that was done in two thousand and ten. Wow. We moved in uh, that building in two thousand and ten and I share office space with Gadsden Commercial Development. So how long have you been there? I've been with downtown Gadsden since October of oh seven. Okay. Uh, which is Fifteen years. Was there a director before you? Yes, there have been several directors uh, before me. I think I'm probably the longest serving yeah. director. But yes, we've had some uh, some very good directors. So I know, th and here's the thing: when I was in the legislature, uh, I went to something where they honored DGI and you, and y'all have received numerous awards for Broad Street. Can you name a few of those? We've done we've done a lot of different things. The Main Street Alabama program mm -hmm. is a great program. It's a it, the Main Street program itself is a great way to lead you into doing what you need to do. Yeah. But we've won awards before for First Friday, of course. We've mm -hmm. won awards because of, for the speakers that we put. If you yes. walk downtown mm -hmm. on the sidewalks and you hear the, the music playing yeah. on those speakers, we've won awards for Musical Mondays. We've won awards for all kind of different things that we've done, even for the banners that we've done. But then people, individual people, have won awards as well. Sylvia Smith was the one that won our first award because not many people know that Sylvia's the one that actually started First Friday. Really? I in January, not, I that, yeah. in January of 2006, the coldest month of the year, Sylvia started First Friday. How about that? So she was she was just always the one looking for a way to do things and and to bring people downtown. So First Friday starts when? What month? Well, now we're doing it from April through October April through each October. year. That's you know, right. I, I guess when COVID came, we've used mm -hmm. COVID. For a lot of excuses, but we decided let's let's work smarter well, and not harder. Yeah, yeah. So we find the best months for First Friday are April through October. So when I go to First Friday, I'll ride down about ten thirty to the pharmacy down there where I go, and people are already sitting up. <laughs> I mean, it's crazy. It and I'm is. like, these people are going to sit in a chair till tonight, but they don't move. But I mean, but but one thing that we found is that about eighty percent of those people are not from here. They're not. No. They're not from Gadsden. They're yeah. bringing in. That foreign yeah. money, I call it. They're doing some shopping. So I got to tell eating. you, during the campaign, we were handing out T-shirts, and everybody was wanting a T-shirt. And uh, I said, "Where are you from?" They said, "Silicaga, Andalusia." <laughs> I said, "Put the T-shirts up." I said, "These people can't vote." But, That's exactly but right. But I mean, it was amazing to see people from Georgia, Tennessee, mm -hmm. 
And uh, I actually knew some people from Montgomery, and they just said, oh, we, we love this. This is one of our favorite events. We so, do have a lot of different groups of people from different yeah. places that come every month. So, uh, I mean, that's what I think of DGI, but mm -hmm. there's a lot more to DGI. You yeah. have a board. We do. Y'all meet how often? We meet every other month. Okay. We meet one, the third Thursdays on the odd months of the year. Right, and so, which DGI also, I know about the trees. That's a big deal. Right, uh, right. You're hiring somebody to look at cutting, trimming right. them back, not right. cutting them down. But Well, what we do, and you're right, First Friday mm -hmm. is, is what we're known for, right. but that's really not what we do uh, for... No, I can't say that. We do that for the betterment of the community That's and the right. city. But we also have fundraisers which raises where we raise money to do things like hiring a, an arborist yes. to look at the trees yeah. and see what needs to be done. Yeah. Uh, that's where the speakers, the money for the speakers come from. If you drive downtown at night, the light's on the top of the building. So that's right. things like Sunset Sips. Yes, which that, I love. Yes, yeah. and that's that's been going on for 12 or 13 years So that's years on Broad now. Street Bridge, mm -hmm. and uh, it's, a, it's a fundraiser for DGI. It right? is, and it's very limited. Only 300 tickets or so. Really? So we want it to be yeah. one of those one of those events where you really want to come. And to, Steve to Gilbert there. just did a fundraiser. He at the did. Pittman. The Anna, yeah. Anna Popovic at concert yeah. at the Pittman. I so, was there. That was wonderful. Yes, that was great. And Steve's done multiple he, ones of those as well. So. And his office is on Broad Street. Uh, he too, loves so. Broad Street. Yeah. Steve absolutely loves so Broad I, Street. So I can tell you, when I was in Montgomery, I had legislators tell me all the time that, man, y'all got a great Broad Street, a great Broad Street. But y'all have done a wonderful job, okay? And I mean that sincerely. Well, thank you. And I, it's everyone working together. Yes. All of our merchants are pulling together. When I started working, the first before I ever came to work, I said, I want a name tag because I want people to know yeah. who I am. I don't want to walk in and they not know me. So I took my name, put a name tag on, put took my legal pad and my pen and said, what do you need? Yeah. What can I do to help you? So that kind of got everybody on board, but people have worked together and pulled together now mm -hmm. for these 15 years that I've been there, and we continue to do that. So Kay, tell us about some events that you got coming up that we need to know about. Well, the first thing we've got coming up, the closest thing, is our chili cook-off. It's the 15th annual chili cook-off, and it's going to take place on Saturday, February the 4th. We have anywhere from usually 24 to 30 teams yes. that come from all over. We've had them as far away as Kentucky before. How does Jeff Martin win that thing every year? <laughs> it's, it, he has the best chili, does I'm telling really? you. Yeah. It, it is amazing, yeah. but we've had different judges, and, and Jeff and Lewis from Dowdy's has won it I don't know how many times. Wow, who are the judges? We have different judges really? every year. Yeah, we've uh, we've we've got several different judges this year. Uh, last year we actually had um, mm, weatherman from uh, Channel Six. What is oh, his name? Oh, uh, he lives in Gaston. Yes. yes, he and his wife were mm -hmm. judges. So, and I hate to say yeah. I can't think of his I name right this minute. So too. you'll have to cut yeah. that part out. Yeah. <laughs> Leave that in there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's the, that's the blooper of the yeah. day. Yeah. Uh, Mickey. Ferguson. Mickey, Mickey Ferguson. Mickey Ferguson. Mickey Ferguson. Hallelujah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But, we, you know, we just have trying to get different people. Yeah. We, we have, I guess, Dave Tomlin yeah. has been the one person every single year except for one, and he was out of town, that has always been, like, the mainstay. Really? Yeah. Yeah, well, he's a friend. Yeah. Well, and, and he's a great guy. He loves yeah. downtown. He loves the Pittman Theater. Yeah. Dave's one of those will bring me a check to do something at the Pittman Theater. Wow. So, so you know, I like to reward Dave, and he loves chili. That's so, good. And, he's, and the he's pub a good crawl's coming up in March? The pub crawl will be in March, yes. Okay. It'll be the weekend of, uh, I think St. Patrick's Day is the 17th. We usually have it the Saturday that's mm -hmm. closest to St. Patrick's Day, so that would be on the 18th. And former Chief way. Crane dresses up. and He's. He's the snake caller person, yeah, yeah, you know. Yeah. He's, we've had some. And Bart Dawson used to. He did, and and, yeah. and his, that we've had bagpipers, and we've had all, all kind of different things. But that is a great draw for the bars yeah. and restaurants, and it it starts early, it ends early, so we don't really have any problems. And it's very whatsoever. family friendly too. It's very There's family friendly. A lot of friendly. Friendly events on Broad Street and for kids and adults. Very yeah. family friendly. So those two are the big things. We'll have a we have a, a shamrocking with my nomies for the merchants in yeah. addition to the pub crawl. Yeah. So we will have a day for them, and then the pub crawl for for the bars and like restaurants. Sounds like you name an animal. Yeah. Oh, I know. So what about uh, what's the relationship with the Pittman and DGI? Is there because I've always wondered that the city owns the Pittman Theater. Mm -hmm. 
We have raised money in the past, thanks to Glenn Williams. Mm -hmm. We've done a lot of Party with a Purpose at the Pittman. Yeah. We've done several of those and raised several thousand dollars over the years. I noticed DGI has put a lot of money in Right. The we, DGI raised the money, and it goes back, actually, to Cody Carlton and Characters Entertainers, too. Some They used to do plays there, and really? some of the money would be donated to the Pittman. But we would be able to keep it in the downtown Gadsden coffers, so yeah. we would know how it was spent and where it was spent. That's but we great. put the, the audiovisual equipment in there, the curtains hanging on the wall. Well, I think it's beautiful. Uh, the other night at the Steve oh, Gilbert Anna Popovich the yeah, concert, I yeah. thought it was wonderful. It, it needs some work. Mm -hmm. but and we're going it, to work on it. It's yeah. come a long way. It has yeah. come a very long way. And Steve Gilbert has ideas for more concerts. Really? I mean, yeah. we we could almost be a little OPAC type yeah, thing yeah. there. Just have small, yeah. intimate concerts and, and just that. have a good yeah. time. I think, that's I, think great. I think it would be a really fun thing to do. Okay. Well, I'm looking forward to putting some money into that. I think that's going to be fantastic. Well, thank you. We we need to do that, and that would yeah. be a that would be a that would be a, a, a good thing because the Pittman is kind of our crown jewel. Yes, it is. Uh, I, I, love, I don't know how you got the light bulbs, but I know that took a while. On the signage. The okay. Well, let's let's go ahead yeah. and give Riverview some credit on that. Yeah. Uh, David Fuller, who at that point at that point was the head of Riverview, came to me and said, "We're going to have our uh, employee recognition banquet at the Pittman, but I want that sign to work. How much would that cost?" Huh. Yeah. And so he, the Riverview, actually paid half. Of that, that the two city or three, paid four years ago? It was probably five years five ago. Five years now. ago, yeah. I know, time gets away, yeah, but I'm thinking but it was going to be five that. years ago. Uh, but it, it turned out it was a little bit more than we thought it was going to be. The city did kick in some extra money, but that was a very well spent money. And now, anytime a bulb goes out, I'm calling Court Barber and saying, Court, we need yeah. to fix that bulb. I never want that sign to get in that no, bad shape no, again. It's wonderful. It, is it brings a lot of attention to downtown. Well, and I don't know, during Christmas, if you notice, if you, if you mm -hmm. drive down Broad Street at night, we have new decorations, too, that we got last yeah. year. So they're red and green. Yeah. So as you're driving west, uh, you see the red and green decorations. You see the Pittman sign that's just beautiful in the red and green. Yeah. And the downtown Gadsden sign, uh, the oh, neon, is also yeah. red and green there. So we, I, I just feel like we have a beautiful downtown. Well, I got to tell you, when I was thinking about running for mayor, I said, I'll run for mayor as long as Kay Moore doesn't <laughs> run for mayor. Because I thought you'd make a great mayor. Well, I appreciate and, that. Uh, but you're wonderful at what you do. And, and I, I just love you as a person, but my family does too. But what you do for the city and DGI and bringing attention to us is, is you can't put a dollar amount on it. So Well, they say that the downtown is your heartbeat of your it community. Sure is, and yeah. if you don't have a strong downtown, yeah. you don't have a strong And community. you got a lot of different personalities of merchants on Broad Street. We do. And you do a great job of bringing them all together in one vision. So Try to manage them and keep yeah. them going. You know, that's just like that anywhere, though. And you're a branch of Gaston because we help fund, but that's you right. also raise money on your own, too. That's correct. We so. are a true... 501c3 nonprofit yes. organization. And the city, thank you, does provide about yeah. half of my support. Yeah. We have memberships. We have uh, business memberships. We even have individual memberships. If, if an individual wanted to, to just donate money, you can yeah. do that. And, and if you can write it off your taxes, that's great because we are a nonprofit. We have sponsorships and we do have fundraisers. We write grants. Just small, simple grants for different things, but right. that's the way our, that's where our money comes well, from. Well, I love it. Well, thank you. All right, if there's one thing, this is what we ask everybody, is there one thing we don't know about you, what would it be? Ooh. I don't know. You, they used to call me Stretch and Softball. Stre they, you did, because you played first you base. You know that, but I doubt that many <laughs> yeah. other people know that's that. That's right. <laughs> Kay was a heck of a first baseman in Church League Softball. Well, listen, I want to thank you for coming, and thank Kay, you. you're invaluable to us, and we love you, and Thank you for what you do. Thank you, Mayor. I appreciate right. you and all the hard work and all the positive things that are going well, on downtown. We're getting after it, but thank you. Absolutely. All right, I'm Mayor Craig Ford with Kay Moore. Thank you again for joining us.